Unknown. Unknown. Is unacceptable. Unacceptable. Unknown. Is unacceptable. I am Bernard, and this is my story. The day that I was told I had cancer uh, was a day that I had never wanted to hear in my life. The day my dad told us that he had cancer but they weren't sure what kind, I was in complete shock. For a time, we were all numb, just numb. I had a PET scan. Uh, the PET scan indicated that they couldn't find my primary cancer, that I was a CUP, a cancer unknown primary. CUP means that you have cancer and we have no idea where it started. Most patients that are diagnosed with CUP, by the time we make the diagnosis, they already have metastatic disease. There are about three to five percent of all patients presenting with cancer in the United States today have cancer of unknown primary, or CUP. If you extend that to the patients that have uncertain source of the cancer, maybe as many as 200,000 patients have some level of uncertainty as the diagnosis of their cancer. When Dr. Brins first told me I was a cancer of unknown primary origin, frankly, I was shocked. It was scary. You never want to be the unknown in a medical equation. You're not really sure what you're treating. You're not really sure where it started. You then scratch your head and say, okay, we know this drug works in breast, this drug works in colon, we know this drug works in, in another malignancy. Okay, let's try to come up with a combination that is sort of a shotgun approach that we're gonna tr try and treat more than one malignancy. You're not really sure at the end of the day if what you're offering that patient is gonna make a difference. Uncertainty is a lot worse than anything you could have, particularly in the medical field. We thought initially that he was going to turn out to have a gastrointestinal malignancy. And I suggested that he go to MD Anderson for a second evaluation. And In June of 2012, I had my first appointment at Anderson with my oncologist there, and she would decide what she thought were the cancers to treat, and that uh, they would try to attack a number of cancers at one time. Bernard had already been on therapy that was quite toxic. He was so tired and beaten down by the chemotherapy that he's going to need a break. He was off therapy for a very short period of time, and by the time he got back to MD Anderson, he had new bony metastases. Everybody was like, wow, this has happened so fast. We knew there was cancer, but where it came from, what they should treat to try to prevent or get rid of the metastasized cancer, uh, it was very frustrating not to know what that was. Not knowing what his treatment would be or how to treat it uh, made it very frustrating and I felt helpless. We all felt helpless. On a night in December of 2012, I got up in the middle of the night, went on Facebook, and one of the comments was from Ken Berlin I knew Ken was a cousin of mine. I see he's the president and CEO of a company called Rosetta Genomics. And I know that genomics has to do with genes. Genes has a lot to do with cancer. I saw that they did various tests for cancers and I clicked on that drop-down menu, what's the first test for cancer of unknown primary origin? I said, that's me. Bernard reached out to me and he told me his story and I was shocked and amazed that uh, we had connected and that we had something that we can contribute to his difficult journey that he was undergoing with his cancer. I was so excited, I was ecstatic. We were coming closer to an answer on how to treat it. Bernard came to me to tell me about this. What can you say other than let's do it, let's see if it makes a difference, let's, let's give it a whirl. The cancer origin test uses 64 microRNAs that allows us to identify with a high degree of accuracy 42 different tumor types. That's about 95% of all the cancers that might be causing CUP in patients. MicroRNA profiling is the most accurate way of identifying cancers of unknown origin. And this is in part because microRNAs are so stable and also because microRNAs are very specific for the tissue that they come from. By looking at the microRNA profiles of these cancers, we can determine, like a fingerprint, 
where the cancer started. The cancer origin test has an overall accuracy of 85%, but when it returns one answer, that accuracy grows to 90%. Medicare pays for the cancer origin test at present, and a, and a number of insurance companies are starting to pay for it now as well. The cancer origin test is available anywhere in the world. Simply, the sample needs to be sent to our lab here in Philadelphia. It's a seven-day processing time to issue a report to determine the appropriate treatment strategy for the patient. The cancer origin test is critical to patient care because it allows a doctor to select the most likely therapy to be effective. Their test came back to a 90% certainty that I had breast cancer. And at that point, my oncologist at MD Anderson said, since it now appears that you have breast cancer, we're going to treat just breast cancer. He was placed on a much less toxic chemotherapy. After being on the Zalota for two cycles of therapy, he went back, his tests were greatly improved, and he was asymptomatic from his bone pain. I mean, wow. You know, what can I say, but wow. For nine months, it was just such uncertainty. And now, there's an answer. The treatment that he's under is working. We feel like a burden's been lifted off our shoulders. His prognosis has changed incredibly. I could survive this thing for quite a few years longer. We know patients can live for years with metastatic breast cancer. The new way of doing things is here now, and we should take advantage of using these new studies. I would consider it 100% for any other patient that ever came my way with cancer of unknown primary. After I learned the results of the cancer origin test, my level of optimism increased fantastically. By clarifying the origin of the cancer and honing in on the right treatment for that cancer, it makes a patient like Bernard much more confident that they're on the right path to treating the cancer. And that helps him and his loved ones really feel much better that they know what they're fighting and they're fighting the right fight. Once we learned of the results of the cancer origins tests, they gave us additional power to go forward and try to cure this disease. Unknown is unacceptable. Knowledge is power.